The Bay of Pigs invasion in April of 1961 is one of the most significant events in mid-American history for many reasons. One, it initiated a series of unintended events which led to the Cuban Missile Crisis. So, Bay of Pigs, uh, 1,200, 1,300 Cuban exiles being trained in Guatemala are put on repainted ships, uh, brought up to the south coast of Cuba to invade under the assumption that as soon as they touch base in Cuba, um, either one of two things will happen. The Cuban population will rise up and overthrow the dictator, Fidel Castro, or they will, from a radio on the south coast of Cuba, where the Bay of Pigs is located, they will call Washington and say, we are here to free Cuba. We need your assistance. Send in the Marines. Now, maybe both of those things would happen. In fact, none of those things happened. Cuba under Castro was incredibly well organized. They defeated the invaders within 72 hours, but the assumption was, and here is a great case study of misunderstanding, misperception, and a complete misjudgment about each other. The Cubans assumed that the Americans are gonna do it right next time. They're gonna send in the Marines, they're gonna bomb Cuba, they're gonna take over, and in fact, what Kennedy concluded from this is, Cuba is a royal pain in the neck. Let's just get that one off the, off the page. But the damage was done. The Cubans go to the Russians, the Russians think creatively, and nuclear missiles go to Cuba, and it's in that cauldron where that bubbles up that the fate of the world was in the balance for 13 days.